Okay, everyone, let's get these uh, delinquents out of our way. Uh, missed. Hit. And... Oh, I, I should probably wash my back, shouldn't I? Oh, attack before they attack. Remember. Those delinquents gone. Uh, can't pass. Ugh. Oh, what's this? Oh my! That looks cool. Yes. <laughs> no. What? <laughs> you can't have nice things in, in this game without having horrible thing, can you? Okay, the Thoba. Ritual Hammer. A hammer used to crush bones during the Jator ritual. It symbolizes the smashing of evil dispositions, especially greed, covetousness, and miserliness. Oh. The well, well, well. Is it needed for the ritual? Let's take a look. Aw, oh, man, we can't actually... <laughs> I was hoping it'd be a weapon. Side. But, but hold on. Who or what is the body breaker? We still have lots of questions here, don't we? Of statue. This must have been the head villager's house. Yeah, at least it's, uh, well, slightly more inviting than the outside. Masks made of mummified pig skins. Very powerful protection against ghosts and demons. Well, I don't like the idea of that. Anyhow. Hmm. Enlightenment? Ah, the Dark Jattel and the Keela. The ritual is the ultimate act of compassion. Hmm. The Dark Jattel is a secret tantric ritual known only to an initiated few. It is one of the highest acts of compassion possible. Only the most expert of Rogyapas can perform the ceremony, making the most delicate of cuts to, to preserve the warmth of the offering, until the moment when the heart is submitted to the ultimate compassion of the triangular bladed keeler. Mm, I'm not sure what to say about that. Is this the keeler? Ah, uh, yep. The ritual dagger used for certain tantric rituals. The triangular blade of the Keeler symbolizes the severing of the three root poisons of ignorance, desire and hatred. It also represents mastery of the past, the present and the future. Oh, that's cool. Guess I'll take it then. We're doing this whether you like it or not. Delinquents are back. Oh man, it's brought an extra friend this time. 
Or has he? Huh. Oh, no, you don't. Hey, ow. There you are. Oh, no. No. Any more? Certainly. We'll get there. We'll get there. Don't you worry. But that idiot Frank definitely, definitely, definitely did something bad. I don't like it. He should have been more careful. As long as we have the will to live. Ha! Here comes my health. Are you done? No, he's just retreating. And probably g going to gather a bigger band of delinquents this if time. There really is a curse. You'll need this dagger to help lift it. That's right. Oh, that dagger. Pity I can't use it. It might be useful. Well, more importantly than that, though, is. An incense stick, apparently. Hmm. Any Buddha statues around here? Could go up, but no. Let's explore as much as we can see down here. Oh, shrine over here. Oh, a Buddha statue! Just as planned. Alright. Give me wisdom and health. Oh yes, and uh, thank you very much. Never forget the thank you. Okay, Jehovah Menmo's fourth prophe prophecy. Blade on stone, the knives are readied. Got dark ritual to free the land. Cutting, cutting, but the flesh still lives. The almsgiver carries his death with him. The sacrifice fails. The curse remains. So, now we know that the sacrifice definitely failed. Because, well, it was prophesied. It was prophesied to fail. Oh, man. Jomo Menmo needs to lighten up. Well, she didn't say that there was no hope or anything. Although she did tell us to die. Uh, those things are skulls. They're skulls. I don't like that. to fix this. Oh, Frank, why did you have to... Their blood may be on your hands. Well, we'll think of something, won't we? Oh, my. Well, 
let's go on to the next part.